Alrighty, I've decided to accept Simon Lazat's uh, uh, 10 foot challenge where he, for over the course of an hour, basically putts from 10 feet. As soon as he makes it, he goes back 10 more feet, putts until he makes it, and then goes back another 10 feet. This is going to be my humble attempt as essentially a beginner or very, or very low level disc golfer to see what I can do within an hour. I've charged up everything and uh, we're gonna see how it goes. So I've never really done a challenge like this before, but I'm gonna give it a shot uh, right now. I'm a beginner, so I don't really have the stamina, endurance, and physicality that a lot of these younger pro athletes have, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyways. I've also got about 100 feet to work with in the side yard of my house, from basket to about the end. I might be able to go a little bit beyond that, but I don't really predict I'll go much beyond 100 feet, to be honest. In fact, I'll be surprised if I make 100 feet uh, within an hour. I don't really have dozens of putters to work with. The challenges I've seen from Simon, Brody, and a few others, they basically had 20, 25 putters in a stack and a stool, and they basically had everything all mapped out, including you know a bunch of flags and things of that, that nature. And, and uh, some of them had higher quality baskets uh, that I do not have. The basket that I have is an inexpensive $60, $70 basket I got off of, off of Amazon from a Chinese manufacturer, so I don't really predict that it's going to be of the highest quality, but it's the same type that Iceberg TV has, so if you want a review of this particular uh, basket, go to his channel, Iceberg TV, and he's got a review on it, and it lines up with my experience with the same sort of relatively light basket, about 18 pounds, with chains that don't really catch at the highest level. At this moment in time, there's roughly a uh, 12 mile per hour wind on average going from that direction to that direction. So as I'm putting, it'll be essentially left to right, and it's a little bit gusty. Sometimes it's relatively flat, and sometimes it gusts up, and that's just what I've got to work with. I also don't have a forehand or any other crazy shots that I can uh, work with. I've just got a good old-fashioned backhand, and I'll be putting almost exclusively uh, with that arm movement. Now I'm going to show you the disc selection. I have to work with. It's basically five AVR putters because I mostly throw AVRs as my primary uh, putter. So I've got five of them in different weights from as low as 143 grams to as high as 175 and I just got to deal with, with that. That's five of them. The other five that I have are essentially I've got a birdie, I've got a pole cat, so I've got these two low speed putters. I've got a colt uh, which is surprisingly like a good old-fashioned uh, classic AVR in terms of performance, so it's re relatively simple. I've got a uh, Mirage, which is a very understable putter, and that's going to be uh, uh, one of the things I've got to deal with. Last but not least, I've got a Rhino. As you can tell, this is an all in of a set. I typically do that in order for it to have some sort of consistency with the numbers. But these are all the putters that I have to work with, and uh, we're going to give it a go. I've got a marker at the 10 foot position already. I'm going to have to place that back 10 feet every time I score a basket. I'm just going to have to deal with those limitations. And I've got a little stool here that I'm going to use to sit on if needed or to place uh, discs on uh, and I'll see if that works. With that said, I've got my timer set to 60. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Alrighty, I'm going to have to I'm going to put my foot here grab the mini. This is exactly 12 inches long, so I'm going to now mark it forward. This is not as easy as you would think filming this and doing all this.
turning out worse than expected. This looks like bad news. exhausted. 50 feet is already my range of putting. Beyond that I have to throw and it's not looking good right now. and I'm stepping to the side one foot so I don't completely tear up the grass. I'm not any more further or back than the marker, but I don't want to leave a footprint from standing here forever. This is actually my yard. Five at a time. Not only am I fatigued, I'm feeling it in my back.
I think the only way I could make it was because of this Mirage. It's a very understable putter, and given how fatigued I am, it's the only one they could fly at the height I could get it to actually go in. I had very few discs that made it on that kind of flight path, so I'm going to probably adjust the discs that I use a little bit. I'm completely exhausted. I'm going to see what I can do with this camera, see if I can orient it for better viewing, but I think I may have just hit the limit of what putts I can get in. I've actually hit a few at 100 feet, but I was nowhere near as fatigued as I am now. Now let me adjust the camera. Also, not having done this before, I'm not sure if the camera is set up right. We'll just see how it goes. See? The Mirage. Given my current physical capacity, I'm only going to throw five at a time, so I'm going to choose my top five discs to throw the rest of the way, considering I'll be resting on the way to and from the basket. So I'm going to choose my two most understable discs, and I'm going to toss out the birdie, because it's very slow and peters out by the time it, it gets there. I'm going to throw out my pole cat because it also exhibits a uh, similar behavior of stalling closer towards the basket. The Mirage is going to be used for sure. My Colt is my next most understable putter. The Rhino is definitely going out. So I'm left with AVRs, so I'm going to get the it, three of the five AVRs that I trust the most. My favorite AVR, a classic AVR, 2300. And these two AVRs, my regular DX AVR, 2301, and my Glow AVR, which is these are my top five and I'm going to use them for the rest of the way. I'm going to get these other out here. I've got 36 minutes left. I'm going to go ahead and take my first drink and I'm going to try to strategize using these last five putters while I recover. Definitely have water handy. It's the best thing you can do for yourself. Lastly, one thing I like to do is arrange my discs in order of stability when I practice putt. And I usually only practice putt with five discs, but usually the most understable is on top, the most overstable is at the bottom, and it kind of helps me get an idea of what flight paths are as I throw. Now it's time to continue throwing. I'm actually not even putting really effectively at this point because this is the range at which I can't even putt. I'm almost throwing at this point. So. Where? One of, the things I, one of the things I did was choose the last hour of daylight to film this so it would be relatively cool, relatively well lit, and the sun is behind the camera.
imagine taking on a challenge knowing that you've reached the halfway point and you're extremely likely to not be successful for the rest of the way. That's what I'm going through right now. That was terrible. Oh man. I'm gonna feel this in the morning. No, to be fair, I'm feeling it now. Wah. I'm not even reaching the basket. I'm gonna have to just throw it like I do a normal this basket. I'm gonna have to try that. I'm topping out at this distance where these pros are topping out more than double. It's crazy. Absolutely terrible. So my options are A, continue putting and not almost never reaching the basket. Option B, throwing, being able to reach the basket easily enough, but at this point hitting a wall repeatedly. I'm gonna try a handful of more throws and if I get to the point where I'm even more exhausted, I'll probably have to call the challenge early. But it's an interesting learning experience, experiment or experience. I'm only a little bit weaker, but I'm a lot more winded. And I can kind of feel a little bit of a pressure in my lower back, so I'm gonna have to focus, slow down, I'm not in a hurry. This is turning into an approach challenge. Yes. I'm gonna move it back 10 more feet and it's very likely that is gonna be where the rest of these shots remain. We'll see how that goes. Why did I even bring this thing out here? All I'm doing is carrying it around. Can't even reach the basket. That's absolutely terrible. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So I've got 16 minutes left, so things are not looking good. I think this is probably it for me.
I can't putt. I've got to throw. I'm so tired, I can't even aim. It looked good. Basically putting like that. Full 90% spin putt, but I don't usually hyzer like that. I usually go straight. To reach this distance, I'm always throwing either forearm, which I started learning this week, or back to my That's my only chance to reach it. Yes. Well, 175 AVR, one of them did this for me. Now to go back 10 more feet. Yeah, both those are understable. That was a layup. Literally, I could tell I was laying it up as I was throwing it. That was actually close. Eight minutes and change left. It's going to take a miracle to get one more in. Man, this is terrible video at this point. I'm so sorry. That wall is about eight feet behind the basket, by the way. Five minutes and change left. Looks like a miracle is not coming. I'm so tired, I'm just throwing it too hard. Wind is also pushing a bit. So close. One minute, 53 seconds left. I'm 
matter of seconds to get these last ones off. So close. Last try of the night, my glow AVR. DX. 15 seconds left almost. Oh, good try. And time is up. So I did the best I could. And this is uh, it. I'm going to thank everyone for watching this video to the end, if any of you people were able to do that. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.